Heyo, my name is Mini Shadow, and welcome to my guide on Hellhound. There are no requirements to fight this boss, and it has just under 4600 HP. The only item I suggest bringing is a bunny helmet to cut down on the travel time. Other than that, you'll want to bring your best weapons and armor for whichever combat style you are using. Bringing a stat boosting potion, being magic, archery, or strength, may help if you are struggling with the damage, as well as a defense if you find yourself taking too much damage. If you have the prayer, this can also help speed up your kills. The Hellhound is located in Hell, which is located in the Kingdom, south of Lake's World. We can see here, if we follow from the Lake's World teleport, we can see in the southern eastern corner of the Kingdom is where Hell is located, and there's a bank along the way. Let's get started. Heading south, we will head towards the Kingdom. Don't forget your bunny helmet and head across the bridge. Entering the kingdom, this building right here is the bank. Well, one of the banks in here anyway. There's actually another bank in the castle itself over to the west. And there's a, a fountain over there too. But heading directly southeast, we will arrive at hell. Head down the ladder and here you are. After going down the ladder, you'll want to head south and take your first west. Heading south down the ladder and follow west once more. Here's a little bit of a crossroads where south is an enchanting table and north is the soul demon where you can turn in your souls, but we are going to continue west and take on north. Following north, you'll hit some stairs and then you want to head east and then north when you have to, hitting some more stairs. All right, this is pretty much where the boss room is, but going over the map, you can see, yeah, this is the path that we take. Just a little bit of a, uh, almost a full suit circle, but a bit of a U-shape. There we are. And just up this door, this this door right here will be locked if this is your first time here. And in order to, to open it, you have to kill this red named demon right here. Yeah, this guy. Once you kill him, the door will open. All right, let's head on the inside, and this is the boss room. We have the Hellhound in the middle. Make sure to drink your buffs if you brought any, activate your divination, throw on your helmet, and get attacking. I have two clips to show here, one where I face tank everything, and the other one where I do a bit of kiting, but we'll go over the face tanking first. The Hellhound has a ranged magic A attack, and throughout the fight will occasionally spawn ads as well, being a dark hound or a dark wizard. Now, you can't really kite the dark wizards, nor can you really kite the hellhound, right? Because they're both ranged. But you can kite the dark hounds if you are struggling with, you know, the incoming damage, right? You can alleviate a bit of it. With the face tanking clip done, let's head on over to the kiting one. Oh, and I forgot to equip my helmet, apparently. Silly me. For this kill, I try to kite the enemies as best as I can. There are really two methods that you can use for kiting the enemies. You can either run a circle around the hellhound itself, or you can run a circle around that, like, pool just south of it. And I prefer the method of running a circle around the pool. It's a lot more convenient and you don't have to move as much. But yeah, as you can see, you can run a circle around the boss, trying to kite the, uh, the hellhound as best as you can, or sorry, the dark wolves as best as you can. There's two of them chasing me down now. But like I said, I prefer running a circle around this pool. You don't have to move as much. As you can see, they're just chasing me. <laughs> they get halfway around and I just run to the other side. It's great. And a few more hits, the boss should go down. I think it's time to check out the loot, shall we? Speaking of loot, we got some dark wings. Fantastic. All right, let's head on over to the loot table. Woo! So what does the hell hound drop? Why are we farming this guy? Well, he drops a fire bow, hell sword, hell hound fang, hell keeper helm, chest plate, leg plates, and boots as well as a demon eye ring, cursed hel flame helmet, dark wings, galvani galvanized steel bar, 
And that's about it. So the Hellkeeper stuff is the best in slot DPS melee armor. The fire bow is for ranged, obviously. I think it's like level 60. The uh, the Hell Sword and the Fang are like level 60 weapons as well, I think. 50 maybe for one of them? I'm not quite sure. But the wings are the second best in slot wings. And that uh, steel bar is used for wood cutting. And last but not least, the Demon Eye Ring is actually best in slot for both melee and ranged. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.